We're going to be parting this out tomorrow, Saturday, Halloween. Got to get that out of there. That'll clear up a lot of room. And we have a lot more to do. I want to get that one done too. The wall is looking good. Do not have very many uh, open small drawers. I think this is the first first one over here. So like two rows of some in there. There's a lot over here though. I've started to, as I get these that are complete or I can easily complete them. I know this one has the wrong head. I noticed. I'll fix it. This is going to be the magnet wall. Nothing much on there yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> so I have the an order here that somebody placed saying Sir Fanfare, Sir Fanger. I bought was listed as new, but the minifigure received had a cape on the figure in the bag. That was very, very crinkled up. It looks like they have not been new before being packed that way. Ugh. I'm sure you generally do a good job, but this seems to have slipped through. It says that they've always received capes that are uh, not crinkled, always packed separately from the minifigure. Well, not every seller is the same, number one. And we'll show you the figure here. This guy. So, like, so my explanation was he comes in a Target Cube. Um, and yeah, he generally looks like that. That's more like what it is. someone might not have. See how that's crinkled even? So I explained it looks exactly like the stock photos that are provided from Bricklink. Uh, it was new. I took it directly from the Target Cube as a new item. I mean, it's a $2.15 figure he bought, I think. So I said, you, do, you can definitely iron the cape if that is something you need it straight. Um, but it definitely was new, so. So I added a note, because um, when it went to the add or change, this was not an option to add a note to it, so to this minifigure. So I just put out a note to minifigure LOC161 about the cape. Um, and it explained that this is causing a buyer to be upset that the cape comes crinkled. It's stating, I made a mistake listing it as new. Um, so if there's a note on there that backs up you as a seller, saying that the cape comes crinkled. You cannot get this minifigure without a crinkled cape. There's no possible way. It only comes in the cube. The only way it would be is if you take it apart and put on a brand new cape, but according to the BrickLink uh, terms of service, taking a minifigure apart and putting it back together is no longer considered new, which, you know, people have opinions on that, I guess. Um, so this will help back up a seller, because I never thought that I'd get this question <laughs> upset um because he needs the the cape flawless for his diorama so that is what it is um so hopefully they put a note in there all right so after all that it's 519 gotta get to shipping now we have 34 items on ebay which is friday morning it's pretty good i mean i have had 60 on monday morning so i think that's pretty good for for what's going on lately um, we have four Brooklyn orders. One is not paid. I already packed up the 42 one last night because I wasn't sure if I was going to get a lot more. So I have those three to do. And then Brick Owl has five. So pretty good. A total of 31 lots, 553 items. So I'm going to get this done and get to editing my vlog from the previous week. All right ebay is out the door typically i do this after bricklink but 
in Brick Owl, but there wasn't too much to pack up over there, so I know I'll be able to get it done before I have to start my normal job. So, um, that's what I'm going to do now, get some coffee and then start pat pulling orders out of the, out of the walls back there. So here's the biggest quantity order of the day, it's 500, 392 parts, 15 lots, I think it's the highest lots besides the one I did last night. They bought 30 right side doors and 30 left side doors. They got from a pick a brick wall at the uh, Mall of America store what, quite a while ago, so I filled up two small cups for one of each. have a lot left still. <laughs> Let me see. I have uh, 218 and 202 respectively of each, so but five cents each. Alright, it's time to take care of these Batmans from that container. Actually, I need to fill up that container again. All those minifigs are gone. I'm going to put a lot of this in here, whatever I can. See what I can do. All right, it is Friday at lunchtime. I just got four of these, five of these out. Just, I don't know. Um, I probably not, may not need that last one. It's got all small ones. I don't mind putting like three to five different parts in each one if there's not too many of them for the first set. I'm going to pay my son to do this for me. I'm going to give him my tablet and have him go through the, the list of all the parts in color order. Start with the black. Black's typically always first. I don't know if it's ever any different, unless there's no black in the set. Um, these are cool. So I have one set that I was already out of the box that I got, and I just opened all the bags here. And I'll have him do this when he's done with his schooling. And because uh, we, we, I think we sold our van. Uh, our small van that we had that we don't need go back down to one vehicle. We had one vehicle for about f three years maybe before we bought the big white van. Maybe it was four years. It was quite a while we just had one vehicle so I've always worked at home so and we might go look at um travel trailer tomorrow. Now we have our driveway in we have a plus spot to park it for the winter so here is that one set we'll get sorted out. All right, I pulled out pretty much everything I want. I think pretty much I'm gonna quickly go through the rest of it again before I bag while I bag it up. This one I gotta keep. Uh, see if there's anything else I want to take out of here, but it could be things that are worth it. I don't know. Um, I'm just not gonna deal with it too much. A lot of it's damaged anyway. I mean, not damaged, just too much for what I would sell as a used part. I don't want to say things are damaged. Um, so pull out all these. These seem cool. We got these, a couple drawers for this one as well. Um, I don't know if these ones are supposed to have anything, but windows. I already identified these earlier. Last night I was just checking some prices, like 20 cents each. So put all those together. Because you know, these are older things. Not everyone's putting these up for sale. So someone might come to the store just for some of this stuff. So I end up finding a second one. And they're both, they both have gold. So that is awesome. Um, I just got to check those plates. I pulled out all the old gray, just because I have a bin that I put it in. And actually, I do need a three-piece I saw it was in here, I thought. Here, for one of my sets I'm waiting for. I need two or three of them. And then I pulled out these, and this cool old windscreen. It's worth like 50 cents. So, there it is. All right, so based on research, I put this up for sale. Uh, most of them... People want it with like bad bad moon at like two dollars and fifty cents, and then the ones that have a really good moon are like ten dollars or more. So this one has a really good moon. I went ahead and took the time and put my own photo in there, and uh, let's just go to uh, items for sale USA. There's twenty of them. Gold's moon is white. So actual photo, there's mine. So this is gold faded, gold fading. Every single one above mine is, is oh that's like scratched up and everything, has no gold or faded. Uh, this one has said, doesn't say anything about it. They want 10 for it. So I'm, so I'm assuming that's the first good one. I don't know, honestly, but I went ahead and just actual photo that one because it's the value of it. And then I put, I, there was two of them in there. So I put one in here, I actually already had another one. Just not as good a condition. Once that other one sells, I'll do another one for one of these. Probably the one on top is the one I just got. So, all right, the new Citizen Brick stuff just came in, and some Brick Arm stuff. There it is. In some cases, 
sticker. Yard sale. Six pack with an extra can it comes with. Some new heads. The um, pedestrian zombie dog. <laughs> dog. That was a free gift for the, the purchase. So, corn, candy corn head, <laughs> headgear, weird head, melting egg head. There it is. All right, I did get. I just got hardly anything done today on Friday. Just like, I just got done listing my eBay sale sales. So, that's done. Um, actually. I'm still in the middle of it. Somebody just came and bought our van like I thought and we are gonna go look at some something this weekend. So this is how fast it is to relist. I can usually hit end and go right to the bottom. I don't do use the relist option, I just hit sell similar. So when you're pulling up like say this this item here, I just click sell similar right here. And then basically you know, I make sure everything is the same, and I just end list. I already listed that one, though. Um, so anyway, let me uh, see what else is going on here. Oh, somebody asked me, where is your store on Brick on uh, video? Link is in every video description. Link is is every video description. It's there. Popsblockshop.com. I got to notify 271 new lots. It's from last night, or I uploaded yesterday. I don't think I ever notified. So, 99, 19, 177, 782. Say goodbye to that number and bring on 180, please. Friday night here. Just hop down here and uh, just finish sorting that real quick before we get dinner going here. And uh, I want I forgot to open the mail from Friday. So here it is. Uh, this is from the Great Brick Lab, Chris. I don't know the other guys' names, but they have a brick. They have a YouTube channel, and they do some cool live stuff on some Fridays. It's it's fun. I pop in there when I have time. Um, but I came here just because they I put it on my wanted list. Some stores that had a lot of items I needed, and they had I don't know like twelve or so. So got these for that Sparks character as well. So I just grabbed some stuff, and then this is from uh, Brick Vibe actually. And they are actually just two hours, at least it's Merrill, Wisconsin, that they're in. I don't know if they have another location. They're huge. Um, I don't keep up with that. Some people know they keep up with it. I don't know. Um, so they had a good quantity of green short legs. And then I already had a bunch of these, but I wanted to get new ones because I'm not sure if mine were new. Because I have all these elves from the clubhouse. And I have the red scarves and stuff I thought I had. Yeah, red scarves there. Because um, I put one listing on eBay, but I didn't have any other new green legs that I could pull from my store um, at the time to say that I had more. So now I can put more quantity up and see how those do. And I think these are for the wither. I don't remember. I'll have to look at why I needed those. Um, and this is order 132 maybe from the store. 131, 132. And it was a small one, uh, but they, they did have some parts I needed. I now I have to really sort by the prices because some of their stuff is just whoa out the roof. So um, that's how it that's how it goes. So we got some good stuff, and that is Friday's mail. Probably won't. I might pack up a few orders tonight, uh, but it's Friday movie night. I didn't get to watch the movie last week because of the three hundred dollar order I got. So I think I'm gonna take a night off, and we'll get to that in the morning. But then we're going to look at travel trailer. So. We'll see how the, how the morning goes, if I even get to that tomorrow. All right, it's Friday night. We're just gonna do this. Not that, we're not watching that. Um, we're just gonna add these parts and I'll get them put away by Saturday night sometime and I already packed up all the orders that have come in so far. So any more that come in will not go out tomorrow, but let's do this. All right, Saturday morning. So I got about I'd say about 70% of these ready. All the spaces I'll need for the new parts and the parts I already have in my store. So, uh, first I'm gonna ship out my eBay stuff and the Bricklink orders that I packed up last night. They're up there, there's like five of them. And then we'll get this going. So hopefully by 8 a.m. I'll have all the numbers entered and ready to sort and put away. All right, so, 
Here we are on BrickLink. Those four I packed up already. And then I closed my store and I got these three orders. I had the I had the password on the main page. So you can still place an order, but we're updating our inventory. Just to help me uh, avoid I guess errors or just too much time because I usually would pack these up <laughs> otherwise, but I already have drawers out, so they're not gonna get packed up, but those are some big orders. Uh, Brick Owl, I have the first one done here, and then there's these, these two I will go ahead and pack up. So those, I'm sure I could find those with the amount number of drawers on my table. Um, and then eBay is 22. I sold that guy. So we'll get eBay done, print out what I already packed up for BrickLink and Brick Owl, and get those other Brick Owl done, and then get to uploading. All right, shipping is done. And I'm just now getting back into here to re-log in, get to where I was. I'm on, I think I'm on the, it was sand green was the last part that I did. So I think it's going into tan here. Yep, so it stopped at tan. So I got to start pulling drawers. There's not too much left. Tan is a major part of this. And then some white and that's it. There's not even any yellow. So. Let's get this going. I had to move these parts from here to run drawer 2600. Wow. All right, all the drawers are set up. Kind of big. It's only 220 some lots. Um, but I was I was using uh, drawers that already had stuff in them. So if I if it were maybe 250, I'd probably use all new ones so I could split them three ways myself. So it'll be a lot less on the table, but it's whatever you have for your space. I know this is not the way many people do it because they don't have the space. They sort everything into cups or whatever, and then one by one put them away into the wall without pulling all these drawers out. That is definitely a way to do it. I've actually been doing that this week, and I do enjoy it uh, that way as well. Um, you can kind of take your time. This, but this helps me to get it done. You know. I enter all the parts and put them all away and put the drawers away. It's just a motivation thing for me, I think, doing it this way. It may take a little bit more time. I'm not exactly sure if it does or not, um, but I enjoy it this way anyway. Because I feel like I accomplished something, I don't know, in the end, fast. I feel it's fast, but I don't know. So now I have to have all the colors sorted by, or by color here, 741. I'm going to get another cup of coffee. A little tired today. Um, I was up at 4:30, but I went back to bed and got up at six. So I don't know what was up at that, but I was I was awake, laying awake for quite a while from 4:30 to six, most of that time. <laughs> she just got up. Um, so here we go. Let's do it. All right. So here is the setup. I, I kind of left myself not too much room to sort, but enough. So I moved the first tray. I have three trays. They're not really all full. Um, there's room in them, but I just want to make it easy on myself. And um, so then I take the, all the blacker first. It's alphabetical by color. You can change that setting, I believe. I've never done it. Um, so dump the black out, and then find. So you got to do. You got to do. This is where multiplication is very important. If you're young out there and you don't think math is important, I have 12 sets, so there's going to be 36 of these. So that no, I know in each set there's going to be three. One, two, three. So and then this note here. One extra quantity means actually only two are part of the build and you get an extra one the small pieces are extra so that's nice So those are already have a drawer that's I know that because of this red you already have the same part in your inventory So I already pulled that drawer and it's right there and then we move on to the bars which are more Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I always have these open when I'm using them So I just had to put this piece in there. This this also comes in the brick heads and I have one of these drawers might have a part, or these are just for new new parts I'm going to put in. Just kind of have them open and know to put stuff in. And I did leave two over here. The pumpkins actually have more here. These ones are there. So I just know that there's two over here to put put the parts away once I find them. I forgot I want to check how many new parts we're going to add. Um, and I've had this question as well. I think I might answer it on my comments video. But someone said, I'm not a seller. I don't know what the part out uh, values are when I'm at the store to see if it's worth the, for the parts, you know. So anytime you're like just... You're in the search. There's other ways to get to this price guide. I'm not exactly sure how. I think it's under is it under the catalog option. So you're in Bricklink. 
market you just click catalog yeah and it's right here so um oh, i forgot what said it was now 41167 is that right yep um so here's the six month sales average and i got these for around 53 dollars each in the end i bought a bunch off ebay i got two at the three at the store for 45 dollars each and then a bunch for around 50 some a little bit more a couple 48 i don't know so I'm saying about the tax, probably $55, so just make it easy to multiply by fives. So here, it's telling me I already have 96 lots in my store, and 128 I do not have in my store, because it's telling me my inventory average currently for the set that I have. So there's a lot of these parts, all right, the expensive parts, only $33 compared to $117. Um, so that's, that's good. This is the number I put it at, and then I have a sale. Just the way I like to do it. Everyone's store is different, so if you watch this channel for quite a while, you probably know that. It's just a sales strategy. It helps me to um, coordinate when I get a lot more sales or not so many sales. Like I can lower the lower the sale uh, sale price or higher it, depending on how, how much time I have. <laughs> so it helps me do that and regulate. Uh, but with more you know repeat customers, it's actually a little bit harder to do it nowadays. But that's all right. Um, I'm okay with that. So in the end, um, I'm going to add a lot of good stuff. And currently, let's just do a check because I had some big sales. Oh, let's see. Um, there, I knew the password. Um, so I had it closed until I get these up. I'm going to reopen it. 98.50. So we won't quite hit 10,000 after this. According to that, we'll get pretty close again. But we will certainly hit 180,000. So it's a great day. All right, so we have all the numbers entered, and except the minifigs are going to get deleted. There's some good prices on some of them. That one is the same one that comes in the poly bag, so not as rare as the Anna and Kristoff here. Uh, but still pretty good. So I don't typically, I usually just throw the minifig parts in the same bin together and separate them later, but had extra room, I figured just three. Pretty easy to determine what you got to do here. So, yeah, with all these shoe boxes, I've had a question about what's more efficient or what's better. It's a lot way faster to have just the drawers instead of shoe boxes. It definitely is faster. Not sure how much. Say I have to get 10 of these. I can open it, put 10 in my tray. If I get 10 of these from one of these, I have to go over there, take it off of that, open it up, dig through, and find the 10. So, I would much prefer to have more drawers and expansion here eventually I think it's coming sooner than later I'm um, gonna have a lot more bigger drawers like mostly it'll probably only be this size maybe some of these I don't know how I'm gonna have to look into getting some different uh, stack ons that have bigger options because a lot of little ones I'll probably do one full row of just all big drawers in that and then I'll probably rotate one big big drawers row of lots of small or lots of big because it'll be like four rows right in here that's what I can fit and still comfortably get around going around and out both sides all right so that is an amazing upload value there um, like I was mentioned before I think it's about $55 each set and 12 of them I purchased and that is 650 is that right? Something like that. Um, and 660, I think is the actual number. So that's without the minifigs. And the minifigs, I should definitely get about 20 bucks back for, maybe 15, be conservative. But this one on eBay, I'm sure, is probably close to 10. This one, definitely 10. This one, five. I've been selling her for about five on eBay from the poly bag. So 25 minus fees, 20 bucks, probably pretty easily. Um, so really the parts cost about 400 some dollars I would estimate and then take off about $400 from that about $1,400 I should get for selling all these parts roughly so um, is this a good set to buy a part out I believe so that's why I did it lots of different things I didn't have in my store 
Uh, lots of people don't think that some of the colors, the bright colors, are good, but this set does not have that many of them. I mean, these bigger plates it does, unfortunately. Um, but there's a lot of good tan. Tan. Uh, what's in that one? Is it this? These are in there? I'm not sure. Um, so it has some good stuff, definitely more than a friend set. It's not really a friend set. I mean, it has these, some of this color, but in the end, they will sell eventually. And everything has been uploaded. Now I have to get all the rest. I gotta pull them over. Even this one, it's a good one, huh? So I kind of run this like um, next man up or conveyor belt, I don't know. I push the ones I want to do next, way in the corner, and I take them, and then I just move everything over. So that's what I'm doing now, kind of prioritizing which is going to go next and next. So that one will probably be next, then this one, then this Harry Potter, and then go from there. I might end up just doing something down here, though. I definitely got to do those. So that's actually pretty easy. So like 150 parts in each one. I think I got nine of them, something like that. So. Gotta organize. I can bring these ones up now too because I have room. So I know what I can probably see what I have. Looking a lot more manageable. So I took everything off of this. Nothing there now. These are just singles. Um, Harry Potter and stuff. The mechs, those are fine. Shrimp boat. Uh, Sistar party crew. Got quite a few of those. Um, only two of these, and that's, is that it? Yeah, that's it. So, we have product. Where do we go? 182.302. Awesome. Alright, time for an Instagram picture. I only have 11 boxes because one didn't come with a box, but that's the best one. All right, bag one's a go. Getting through it. This is probably the only bag I'm doing this morning. Um, maybe not. I'm not sure what our plans are. There's two, three, four, five, and six. So, and I already did the instructions and stickers, and there was a separate bag with a boat and bigger pieces that it's already put away. All right, it is uh, almost 10 a.m. I'm heading up. This is bag two I just opened up. And it's definitely the biggest bag as far as bulk size. I don't know if it has more parts or not. There's a little bag, because um, those are some big pieces in there. Bag three is kind of small. Bag four is it's a bigger bag, but it's definitely small. Bag five is the smallest, I would say. And then there's there's bag six. It's kind of medium. All right, getting through bag two. We decided not to go anywhere today, other than trick or treating at four o'clock. It starts, so um, I overcompensated for a lot of parts. See, when I'm put, putting out drawers, I know I added at least three, like, full drawers like this while I was put, adding numbers. I'm like, oh, where's, there's not a, oh, there's not a full one right where I need it to go. Um, so I probably thought they should go in one of these, and ended up the parts were small enough to fit in a small drawer. So I think that's what happened. There's one, two, three, and this one might not have been actually accounted for anyway. So there's three, four, there's four total that I didn't end up using space-wise. I mean... I don't think these parts are even in this set at all, so like this one or this one, so I could probably put those away, I'll just leave them out for now, but um, this part is not in there. This part is in there. So anyway, we're getting through it. This is a big bag, so much bulky parts in this second bag. We are on to round four of six. Doesn't seem to be too big of a round. This small bag is really small and there's a lot of bigger pieces here, so. Let's see how long it takes. 120. 735. Or 7, 135. And 20 or 15 minutes took me to do the big and the small bag. So whew, let's keep going. Two left. All right. Just over 15 minutes for that one. We're on to number six. Round six. Here we go. I was sort of sorting these parts and I found this in there. This looks like a piece of melted uh, Lego piece, whatever. I forget. What do you call it that it must have been chipped uh, it wasn't supposed to make it into the bag because it, it's really really hard but it's brown we are done no more parts to put away well just these they go somewhere here they go I'll probably miss this because it's on camera 
Oh, we got him. So, that is it, folks. Just gotta put these away and call it a day. Here are the Brooklyn Quitters after pack up. Couple big ones there. There we go, all clear. Lloyd, you can be left in peace now. So every single drawer, I just, as I say that, um, there's this one here, I must have missed it. I can just take that out. Yeah, that's full. Um, every single drawer on this wall, even the big ones and the little ones have stuff in them, no space left. So I don't think I've ever remember saying that or doing that before. Usually I have a, either some small drawers or some big drawers left open. But this is all full. Let me get over here. That's the first one I see. 1440. And the big drawers actually, a lot of them are full now. Because I use quite a bit. First one that has room is right here. 1978. So we got up to... Um, 2608 is the first one with space. This one somehow got pulled out but didn't need it, so that one has space. And we had one problem child, and I'm just gonna let it hang for now. I did resolve this one that was over here. Um, it got put in a big drawer, there were like the dark tan round plates, but that's it, we're done. This is pretty neat. I'm on, um, I use um, Wix.com for my website, it's pretty easy, drag and drop style. And um, I'm just getting the numbers for my spreadsheet for my monthly sales recap for October. So I have I did add a popslockshop.com a few months back. How many visitors I got each month? So we got 436 for October. And it's cool. I didn't I did never have gone into this. Um, but let's see here. The 20 24th of October was when that. Um, Facebook thing it wasn't even the highest I guess oh this is September I don't know anyway I saw this cool map I was like that's awesome so you can see all the people in the United States to kind of look at it in the range and there's a lot of people here in Europe and the UK India Australia so it's pretty cool I just thought that was cool to see I know YouTube gives a, a list of people that watch uh, in different countries too so there it is here's an order I was able to pack up before the day ended um, it's uh, someone that watches the channel so I think this they've ordered quite a few times from my store I'm checking here your 10th order from my store so really appreciate your support thank you again I didn't get a good uh, view of it in the tray I forgot to record it then but it's all bagged up and here it is out the door for Monday well it is Sunday here and uh, DHL came to our door out of a surprise I got a message it was supposed to be delivered today I'm like what so this order me and my son went through a bunch of uh, sets and he things he wanted and I just grabbed stuff out of those sets that I wanted basically until we got to a, a threshold and I'm like okay that's enough um, so that's what we're gonna go. Uh, I got some of these out here just to sort some things out, I guess. And then uh, he's gonna pick up the things he wants for the prices there. All right, we have, this is one of the big bags and this is the second of the big bags. This is how they came in two big bags. And then these three parts were in their own bags because I guess I got a hundred of them or so. I don't know. That is good stuff. I probably got 200 of those if I if they had, they're offering it. I don't remember. <laughs> got some more tiles. And uh, more things here. We're gonna see what we can separate here. So we got our first shopper. Well, he actually picked all these out, so that's what my son took. And that all cost, we added it up, 16, 15.94 out of the total cost here. There's a lot of tax. For that VAT is the tax for, shipping's always good though. All right, so we had to get this sorted real quick after we opened it up. Get a look at some some stuff here that we got. Some good stuff. Stuff I don't have in my store. Whoa. 
Oh, these, I can't even see them. Boom. And I somehow only got one of these. I meant to get five. Because I bought all this stuff to make the character, except, yeah, except that. And this is the dark green corncob guy, the mayor for the city square, I think it is. I did not get any corn cobs because it was kind of expensive, but I got his head in here. Some pretty sweet heads in here. A lot of the new city character heads that they came up with. So that is it. Some great, great stuff going in the store. Like your Saturday's mail, I forgot to go through. Ace of Bricks. It's a store I've been looking to. I usually have a good number of things on my list and the prices are very good. That's what we like. Quality is usually pretty good. Sometimes you find something they do have employees, so um, you know, owners obviously um, have a different uh, take on things. And this is the Batlord Cape. I bought five, but they only had three when they packed it up. I think 12 days after I ordered it. But I'd rate that an 8 out of 10, and those about a 6, so still pretty good. Minor fraying, just coloration. This one's really pretty good. You don't find them like that a lot. But these are pretty normal. That's it. Day after Halloween. Uh, good will find. Not you. Half price. $2 pumpkin. It's quite amazing. Alright, it's a little bit early right now, but yesterday at this time it was 5.15 a.m., so we set our clocks back an hour. So I'm not really that tired. It'll catch up to me later. 40 on eBay over the weekend. Eh, it's alright. Okay, now Bricklink is another story. This is just ridiculous. 1,031 lots. Now this 180 I've already shown before. It's already packed up. And the 24, that's that's it. So we're at 800 lots we have to pack up. Uh, let's look at them. Okay. 216, that's a huge one. That's an average of 10 items per lot. 311 an average of five items per lot so that's not so bad but it's still huge and amazing oh yeah so I have almost three hours to pack up orders and then on Brickell orders received nine whoa so it looks like these ones are all the same with the pluses we had added on so really, it's only seven, and there's a hundred and three one. All right. So the in total, one hundred and eighty-two lots. So if we add that to the other one, we do have about a thousand lots to pull. <laughs> I'll do what I can today, and the rest tonight. All right. Here is the eBay. Everything from eBay. 40 items. <laughs> oh, this is the last two I did. These are together. So I'm going to print out everything here and then head over. I'm not going to pack this up until later. Just going to print it all out and then I'm going to head over and start pulling orders. All right, here we go. Lloyd, he's uh, out of order. I got to change it. It's 4:29 a.m. So we'll get that fixed and uh, start in Brickell. This is uh, the biggest Brickell order here, so we'll get that out of the way. Alright, here's the first order of the Brickell one. And it was 132 lots. 1,600 items. So I was kind of bagging as I went on some of the stuff, so... There we go, it's 527. I'm taking a break now. So, Alright, we have that big Brickell order done. And now it's 5.42 a.m. So I think I'm going to go for the 136 lot on Brick out, or Bricklink. That's the next one I actually have to do. And then I'm going to go back to Brickow and try to finish up 
of these, so I gotta get to five, three, ten, one. Well, I found some lost parts when I entered these uh, bat signals in, or whatever. I did not put the right drawer and I lost them, but then I found them today. So that's a, that's a win. Alright. Here's this order. It's just over a pound, so got that ready. That one's gonna be in a flat rate. This one, <laughs> this is going to an APO. That one I just did before this one in a medium flat rate, so we got some big stuff going on. 6.16, my alarm's going off. Apparently my clock's a little behind. Um, but I can just easily fix that. Part of the process. Just ran out of tape. I'll replace that. <laughs> I just also ran out of bubble wrap. I'll replace that. This is something I made. If you've seen a previous video. I just pulled this back. This slides off, along with this one. And we just slide a new one on. It's all set. Away it goes. All right, Brick Owl is done. And it is uh, 631, so back to Bricklink here. We sold the camera. Uh, according to the computer it works and you plug it in so it's pretty sweet and they bought two items that tile there look who it is ralph's bricks he uh put some jokes on here <laughs> hi mom i'm on youtube <laughs> good one what do you do to someone who doesn't like your Lego jokes? Block them. <laughs> what is the most common operation in Lego? City hospital. Plastic surgery. What does a heartbroken Lego person say? I'm falling to pieces. And where do Lego people go on the holidays to the Czech Republic? <laughs> and how does an Eskimo build an, a Lego house? He glues it together. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. We got 16 lots, 258, and I gotta go to work. So we'll get this done and uh, do the rest later. So all we have is, let's see, these ones I skipped over here because they were bigger. I'm trying to get the little ones out of the way, and then we have, this is Ralph's, so then we have three more. Did I show the order? I don't remember, but I put it on Instagram anyway in my story. There's Ralph's order. He got King Tut. Um, he bought all my Frick missiles. New and used. Very strange. I wonder why. Did someone give him some odd advice? Because you can find those in the bulk used like crazy. We got a chicken, Master Chief Halo, and a jellyfish.